Welcome back to Fair or Foul. I'm Brad Fair. In this episode, we will talk about how to be prepared to start a baseball game as an umpire. The first thing you're going to need to do is pack up your gear. In the last episode, I mentioned that there were some reasonable expectations for a uniform for both beginner and advanced umpires. You will need a bag for your equipment. There are probably lots of sports equipment bags that could do the job. A common question is, when should I arrive at the diamond for my game? This could vary a little bit, depending on the level of game, or if it's a provincial championship. But typically, 30 minutes before the game is a comfortable amount of time. So what do you do in that 30 minutes? Well, you will need to get your gear on and meet with your partner if you have one. Some good things to talk about with your partner is who is responsible for what calls and what signals they are familiar with. A few examples of this might be, is the home plate umpire responsible for balls up until the base or the cutout, and whether the base umpire will go out on any fly balls to right field. Aim to get to the diamond so you can call the plate meeting five minutes before the scheduled start time. When you get to the diamond, get your game balls from the home team, call your coaches to the plate, and have your pre-game meeting. A few things to highlight at the meeting include ground rules, like what is in play or what is out of play any specific league rules that may need clarification. An example of this would be the T rule in 11U. And reminding coaches of any expectations may, you may have as an official. For example, having a spotter for their bullpen. You may also answer any coaches' questions at this time. Also, be personal and introduce yourself. Once you complete the meeting, wish the coaches and your fellow umpire a good game, and wait for the home team to complete their start of game warm up and be ready to say play ball. Thanks for watching this episode on umpire pregame preparation. If you have any additional tips that are relevant for umpires in the area, feel free to comment. If you find this beneficial for you to take steps as an umpire, please subscribe to my channel for future tutorials about foundational umpire techniques.